entire tutorial. So I'm not seeing any shadows here for these translucent objects. Even in perspective mode. Would I see a shadow in, pers 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 in this mode regardless? Like, theoretically, no, right? Because we're seeing it straight on, so there is no concept of a shadow because this is not a perspective object. So this, we, we're just not seeing that part, so it doesn't even matter if they're shadowed. Well, theoretically, they're shadowed in 3D space, but not shadowed in 2D space, so like... You know, a point light coming on like this should... Should have some sort of shadows being cast here by this thing, which you can see onto it. These things are real hit and miss. These things are super hit and miss. Alright, well, let's do something else then. Let's see if we got a point light over here. What it looks like. And let's see if shadows work at all with this thing. Cast translucent shadows.
Doesn't look like volumetric translucent shadows work on much. So if we made these two objects static and I built the shadows, would that do anything for us? Made all these things static? Because one of the things we can do is instead of using like real lighting, we can just use a lot of post-processing effects for lighting. Oh great, now we have nothing showing up. Yeah, so it looks like just shadows don't work for orthographic cameras. <laughs> like they, we're just we're just kind of screwed for for shadows on um on this stuff. Like it just if we wanted a whole bunch of shadows and stuff like that, we would we have to do it ourselves. Because we can do some lighting, but it's like the shadows just don't work. Well, that's unfortunate. Just write that down. Shadows just don't work. Because really what I want to do is I want to do something like throw a light up here. And do something like that. Where we cast shadows. Like, even from, like, because it should definitely be possible to have a point light here and then have, you know, it affects stuff in this scene. Like, if we don't move the light, like, we should have a shadow object which, you know, theoretically gets created and you move into shadow. Like, it's, it's not insane to expect this sort of behavior.
And the other question is, why is this object getting lit? I guess I should be trying that first before I mess with the other things. All right, so if it's all built, why are you still? Well, this shouldn't have anything to do with casting a shadow. This should have everything to do with applying shadows to this object. Alright, let's just see. Shadow not applied to translucent object. Under it. Assuming you have multiple materials set up for a mesh and the window is its own material, you will need the following things. Blend mode, translucent two-sided, true lighting mode, surface translucency volume. Surface translucency volume. Alright, so we have surface material, volumetric directional, screen space reflections, apply separate translucency. Translucent is two sided. Right. So on this guy, we have treat its background, use as occluder. Shadow two sided. it's like just translucent shadows just aren't working in perspective or point lights so the mesh in the level needs to have volumetric translucent shadow set to true that's set to true.
Well, crap. I will be right back. It's not even casting shadows on the stationary or static terrain here. I mean, is it just literally shadows do not work in orthographic mode, like, at all for anything? Because... That's actually pretty funny, like, the, not even the floor here is casting a shadow. Like, this floor right here is not casting a shadow. So, like, literally, you know, we have, like, a stationary point light or something like that. It just doesn't work. Like, shadows just do not work in an orthographic camera. Or something like that is just totally screwed. Yeah. Alright, so uh, we're just fucked for shadows. Good luck with uh, good luck with that then.
I'm really not happy about that. Like, I mean, that's, that's like the whole damn reason we used Unreal, was that we'd be able to do cool stuff with lighting and shadows and stuff like that. And if it's just all fucking broken, and it's been broken for like six months, then what the hell are we doing? Is this thing just running at like a horrible frame rate? Is that what's going on right now? Because this does not look like anything that we had before. Yeah, it's running at 38 FPS. So Adam immediately was able to destroy everything.
Let's see, we've got these terrains here. What are these cubes? They're all those things. The waterfalls. Yeah, those waterfalls are extremely expensive. Well, I'm going to have to think about some of this because this is pretty ridiculous. Like that, that lighting and all this stuff just doesn't work in orthographic mode. Just, just doesn't work. Like literally broken. I mean, we'd basically be forced to, we'd have to use a perspective camera. Because we can't do, we can't do stuff we want to do. Like, if there is... I mean, we basically have to build our own lighting, right? Like, if we put a log over something, like, we want a shadow under the frickin' log, and, like, we can't do that um, with Unreal. We'd have to build a system that would do that for us. Which is the whole fucking point of using one of these engines, is that you don't have to do all that crap. Ah.
Like I'm trying to even think of a of a solution that would even be close to to working. I mean, is it, could we set like the field of view on a camera, but, but we can't set the near and far cliff planes. We'd have to set the field of view and then, Jesus Christ, like we can't set the damn min, we can't set the near cliff plane for the fucking camera though. Like you can only set that in orthographic mode. So like. This is a major problem. This is a major, major problem. None of this stuff works properly. And this issue has been in Unreal since 2015. They've been having issues with lighting, with orthographic, so they're not going to fix it anytime soon. I mean, it's it's a very highly voted thing, too. Like, Well, maybe we can use a, a perspective camera for, I mean, we might just have to switch to a perspective camera. Like, that's just what what we're going to have to do, I guess, because there's, or the graphic camera's just, just broke it. It just doesn't work. Not an option, you know, if we want any sort of lighting. So, I mean. I mean, what we'd have to do otherwise is we'd have to bake in our own shadows. I mean, it's not possible to, to do this. Basically, what it amounts to is
Like we've got this log here, we would have to have to make it so when you're in the log there's actually a sprite that is actually the shadow and that would be pretty damn difficult to deal with Yeah, but like that's not gonna work. Like, you know, you you it's an untenable situation. You can't just impose those things. It would basically mean like everything would have to have the exact same time of day and crap like that. So, I think we're screwed. I, I think I think we just have to go with the perspective camera then and um, see what we can do because we're. We're pretty much fucked. If, if this doesn't work, then, well, you know, there's not like I can just go rip open the renderer and um, do all that because, like, might as well not even use Unreal at that point. So, let's see if we can do any sort of compromise here that gets us anywhere. Because Epic's not going to fix this. They would have fixed it a year ago if they were... Yeah, or we'd have to come up with our own lighting system that is completely outside of everything, such as a post-processing lighting system. And do creative things with rendering stuff, but it means all of the rest of the lighting in Unreal won't work. Like, you can't use fog because it's not going to look right with your lighting. You can't use any of the other things in the engine because it won't look right. So, so if we start doing custom shit, then it's just an, a, a hole that you just have to keep digging, and you're never going to stop digging that hole um, for new features and everything else. You're just re-implementing everything yourself. So... So, you know, if we wanted to make, like, a lightning strike or something like that in a storm, like, no way in hell we'd be able to do that. Um, it, you can't do that without proper shadows. You can't do that. So, I mean, we're pretty much, we'd have to go back to a perspective camera. For everything.
And that's not going to work out of the box because if we want if we want stuff to actually look proper, like we can set the field of view on our cameras and stuff like that. But in order to get a closer to orthographic projection for the camera, the, the background like goes way into the distance and looks really bad um, for us to get what we want. So we're still going to have to at least do some weird sandwich stuff with the camera, but the foreground might leave. We might get rid of the foreground. And we'd have, you know, the background plane still there doing its shenanigans. No, I want to stop. This is not the right file. Camera.h exists. Piece of garbage. I don't know. With how broken that is with Unreal, I would have expected their documentation to call out that orthographic mode is just not supported <laughs> for for lighting and everything else. You know, because there should be big warning bells all over that thing saying does not work. Because it doesn't work.
Ah, uh, stuff's gonna look like shit. Man, everything's gonna have to be 2D. See if we change the change it even lower. What a train wreck. Same object could render. Ugh. So let's see, 0.05 here maybe? Lighting need to be baked in. Right, let's try building the lighting.
What? What the fuck is going on here? Like, the sh shadow doesn't make sense. We should be outside of shadow right here, and we're not. Why? Why not? We should be outside of sh It's just frustrating. Just frustrating figuring out like what works and what doesn't work with Unreal because honestly it looks like none of it works. It's like, all right, so we've got our, our lighting is working properly for 